Be right. Hello, guys. Welcome. Welcome to another episode of Ripster Daily Trade Recap and Teachings. All right, guys. What a crazy day. A day for records. A market breakout, all-time high. CPIs low. So, a lot to discuss today. How did we nail the big, big um, breakout rates today from start till the end? So, I will show you that. SPY, QQQ, big breakouts. How was the old day? Huge, huge winner for SMCI. How most of community was green today, only 14% 14, uh, 14% red. And how we nailed uh, this one day. And we, you know, uh, we na nailed more than worth of a week's trades, right? So how did we do that? So a lot to discuss today. SMCI, NVIDIA, AMC, CrowdStrike, Dell, MSTR, Tesla, AMD. And uh, let's start. Let's do a quick introduction for anybody who's new to me, my Twitter, who's new to my X, my um, YouTube, or new to the community. These are my trade recaps and teachings that I do every day based upon the trades that we are taking, or any trades that I am sharing on Twitter, or any trades that I am sharing in YouTube recaps, or any trade ideas that I trade. Either I trade, or my traders in the community are trading, or anybody else is trading and i guide through them and we we try to see how we made money how we lost money what was our thought process what was the reasoning so we do not trade random we use a repeatable system my system that thousands of traders across the world use to be consistent and we trade set syst setups right i cover all those setups in my community webinars and but i have also been teaching those websites those teaching setups and systems uh, on my YouTube recaps, my free website, ripstereducation.com, my Tanit community. So we bring all those together and we implement what we learn every day. Before the market opens, my team and me, we go through all the new sources. We create what we call as our game plan. So we create a game plan. This was today's game plan with all the meme stocks, NUDLO, Tesla, Neo, Dell, uh, SE, and a bunch of other names. So not only that, we also create what you see is the market level. So these were the market levels today, SPY, QQQ, IWM, Netflix, Tesla, Meta. And we will discuss a lot of these and how these levels helped us trade, um, you know, a lot of these, um, you know, stocks today um, long, right? So we will discuss those. Tesla was a short today. We will discuss that. And in addition to that, I also share my day-to-day -day three setups. This is a repeatable strategy that i built i teach i show you guys my old you know followers and youtube video listeners might know about this setup i share these setups in the morning so that traders can trade their own take the system trade trade their own anyways so that's what we do guys that we have our morning game plan everything ready and i'm on voice first few hours the market open and then i guide everybody through all the trades the market commentary um, throughout the day and let's see how we did today let's go by I'll go through each trade. I will show you my time stamped comments. I can't really show you what I said on the voice, but I'll try to show you my thought process so that you can see those time stamped comments or ideas and see how the stock, you know, panned out based upon that. Let's start. All right, guys, let's start with the, with SPY and QQQ today, right? So today when market opened, we had a CPI numbers that came in. So, so CPI numbers came in, which the CPI was uh, lower than expected, and that meant mar market knew that Federal Reserve is going to cut the rates, right? It's low CPI, good for the stocks. You know, interest rates are going to be cut. So, so that was a bullish news in the pre-market, and we were gapping up. Now, question was, do how do we trade? You know, how do we trade this gap up? And there was kind of a chop initially. We were pulling back. But then my 10 a.m. rules, I, I teach you 10 a.m. rules again and again. The 10 a.m. was the real hammer candle. You see that on, on SPY. You see this candle on SPY and then you see this candle on QQQ. So dip, the buys came in, trapped the shorts, and then the real move happened. Then the old day mover happened. I will show you the comments and, and the guidance in a minute. But let's go back and look at SPY one hour chart. So this was the SPY flag one hour you know and this was the qq flag one hour and on a bigger picture we were breaking out of all time highs so everything bullish cpi news bullish daily chart bullish weekly chart bullish and one hour chart even though 10 minute was kind of dipping 
the one hour chart was showing us a breakout right let me show you so let me show you the complete uh, you know the complete timestamp of this idea right so in the morning and of course i'll show you in the community so we gapped up and we were kind of pulling into the gap fill so that is fine but the 10 a.m time was coming the 10 a.m trend time that i teach you and what happened at 10 a.m we held this and then i'm saying one hour look i'll show you when i said about the flag in the community so this was a flag 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 then what happens we break out of the one hour flag look here Sammy's are the best movers breaking out of the one hour flag now we take it long we actually take it long right when that hammer candle came in and here we go moving the breakout of our all-time highs check out these one hour candles i didn't even trade 10 minutes on this this was the one hours long setup right and here you go the breakout continues to keep going your spy qqq spx call continues to pay us and um, you know you see at end of the day we almost uh, hit 100 percent atr so that's always our target you see that atr is 100 percent and then you know that was the the complete life cycle of the breakout so now if you go back and i'll show you how i was guiding the community and um, you know we were talking about that those breakouts on spy and qqq so let's look here right so uh, once spy qqq showed me this this 10 a.m trap so few concepts gap up 10 a.m pullback held and as i told you always at 10 a.m you see a pivot right market always gives you a pivot at 10 a.m and then initially we were trying to short it it was a b minus short anyways for the gap fill but when you see this hammer candle no shorts we are flagging on one hour what i'm saying no shorts we are flagging on one hour for long scalps use 512 as a risk flag has to confirm and that's it we use 512 as a risk we add the long scalps I showed you the breakout one hour and then you just let it work hold them calls we get some more i told that everybody at 11 a.m i told them hold them we get some more and all day there was no reason to sell right the spy calls went 100 200 percent you know if you invested thousand dollars you made three grand with a repeatable setup with risk reward with conviction not just throwing you know and just um, um, uh, hoping for gains it was a repeatable repeatable high probability setup once this flag of the market break out and you could literally take anything long which was moving with the market and i we will we took long we'll talk that's how we took long nvidia smci you know dell a crowd strike anything that was moving meta we, we will check all that so that's why how the community was just 14 percent red today because of these these setups right how my system was showing us the breakout happening so so this was the all day trend on spy qqq you do not cut you keep rolling your options because the 512 ripster ema clouds never ever gave up and we continue to push all the way to the highs right guys so that was the spy qqq guidance as you see and from the morning updates i clearly told everybody not to short and long scalps not only that if you go back and see the levels i gave everybody in the morning 527 530 and uh, 450 on qqqs right once those levels are broken that's it right my pre-market prep and that's it we go crazy we continue to push 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 higher so the, even if you just follow those levels but i sh i'm showing you the complete the process the history how this plan this was a you know a visit planned and traded with high conviction and how did the whole community um you know make uh, so much good money today on that right you can see the only 15 percent of people were red middle of the day a lot of people turned from flat to green so that was good too so definitely definitely great day um bigger picture i already showed you spy on bigger picture was um, breaking all-time highs so no resistance up top so you can clearly see that all-time high breakout so there were so many pieces this was a like lord the boat kind of the breakout setup a plus a double plus breakouts on the market that you could have literally made a lot of money today with the proper risk reward that's why we're kind of done for the week with these just these uh, few trades so let's let's go 
so so let's go to the next place in the community how we did it very proud of everyone literally everybody nailed qqq today nailed spx in the community so proud of everybody how they everyone traded spx how everybody traded qqq you know literally there were 100 percent 200 percent calls going in all day today you just had to roll 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 beautiful beautiful trade today all right let's now talk about the biggest trade of the day smci so today before even the market opened when i was on the voice i told everybody that if the market is bullish we are going to focus on smci and nvidia the semis the chips right because they are the ones which will lead the market so they were already over focused that's why we always have smci and nvidia on our game plan amd i'll discuss later as well so let's look at um, this first smci so what was the levels on smci right 846 850 were two resistance pivots up top right so those two resistance pivots and let's go to the daily chart on smci and i'll show you i will show you the uh, even i gave this idea to my uh, my twitter followers as well so let's first look at that so what was the plan right in the morning let's go back let's go back here so the chart idea was we reclaimed 50 ema today 50 ema you see that 50 ema i have often often talked about how important the 50 ema is how of to any trading strategy either up or down you see when smci broke 50 ema here it dipped down when smci pushed over 50 ema here you know you saw the move was so that was our setup market strong smci over 50 ema qqq breaking out so i i said that with cpi good and qqq strong this is our main focus 900 is the first target for us and then we started to break out our lot of options were already going 100 percent you know i had i even rolled into 9 10 lotos these actually went more than 200 percent so that was good and um, you see the um after and look at here and then you can see how the traders were in the community were you know 160 percent by wiki sid was 52 percent on nvidia 59 percent on smci so um crazy crazy repeatable setups everybody was banking in the community so you see that right you see the chart we we don't think it's too high we just follow our rules ripster ema clouds are riding and we are riding right and then all the way i was giving more targets i gave 950 target like two hours before the market closed i gave 950 target 950 on the way and then we finally hit our 950 target so so smci so from where we started so from where we started the trade on smci was we were up you know from 850 breakout there's a hundred dollar per share profit if if you just look at the the levels break out right so even if you had like 10 shares small account or 100 shares you know there was that was one risk or to 10 reward trade and options of course you could trade 900 lotos 910 lotos anything and this was one of the beautiful move on smci an important thing to note is we are not short this amateurs short this it's just because it's too high it's not a short look at this flag break higher lows higher lows higher lows all the candles green just few candles red you could get long anywhere you could get long in this consolidation for the black you know break you could get long here define risk everywhere there's a risk you find the risk and you enter the position guys so that's how you know was the reasoning and do not hesitate there was no reason to hesitate in the community i clearly told today because of all the reasons i just mentioned in the spy qqq recap and the individual name on smci all everything fell together to give us a high conviction aa plus long on smci you can see my time stamped guidance here you know um i shared my uh, lotos as well it, you know it went uh, 150 percent so we were um, met all the targets 900 920 950 935 950 so beautiful day on smci guys we will repeat this again hopefully this made all sense to you so next time when there's a move like smci make sure you you capitalize on that that and you do good all right next one we're going to look at is nvidia again the thesis was the same the thesis was the same on nvidia 
so thesis was actually the same on nvidia just as smci but i will show you my levels from the pre-market that i had on uh, on nvidia so levels on nvidia was 927 930 those were two resistance pivots and once you see that once those pivots were broken 930 and it was flagging and it was all the way up right it was all the way up we did cut here when 512 was breaking but when 512 was reclaimed you could always enter back the same calls and put your stops here right when you see it reclaiming get back in and then it pushed further so here's my um, morning guidance nvidia good long long watch pullbacks holding trend you know good holds uh, 945s and 950 um you know i i said if it gets under 512 then you cut it if market gets heavy but it never it never went under convincingly under 512s there was no reason to cut i gave two targets 945s 950 both of those targets you know met the next target is you know meeting after hours and um, you know i told everybody you can hold the runners if you want to swing you can swing it but beautiful beautiful breakout ahead of the earnings on this you can see there was a daily breakout as well if you look at the daily chart it was a nice breakout nice breakout on one hour chart nvidia also big winner in the community everybody really really did well on nvidia you know um you can see that um, gs um, gs made 45k very nice job you know um I usually don't allow like PNLs in my community because that's not what I'm about. But literally, there was a life-changing gains in the community today on this um, these plays. Let's go to the next one. And you can see that there's no hindsight. You can see the guidance, and that's how we do it. So similarly, let's look at AMD. So what was AMD? AMD is actually our swing versus 150. I can show you that. Let me go to the. Uh, our notes and i can show you our uh, you know, uh, swing tracker i usually when i have a swing i we put it in our swing tracker of course we, we are not an alert service but any swing ideas we share there so you see amd was a proposed entry was 150 right and that was a risk why it was a psychological number on the daily chart and it was being bought up every time and that's why and it dipped a few times but every time you know 150 held so that was the reason you know this area was our you know buy point on for our swing setup so i didn't really day trade it but as a swing i was continuously guiding the whole community about on this this trade of amd so you can see here what i'm saying our swing good longs today i told them in the morning only and um, and that's it you know we just we're just holding it i know i have no plans to cut this swing um, next target is into 163s and after over 163s i wish pushed in towards 170 so beautiful day trade winner as well same concept intraday you can see it's flagging this is midday setup 10 a.m flag breakout and all those these things you know go work in a tandem right they work in tandem and that's how you see all these breakouts with the spy qqq breakout if you learn this how the market moves and individual names move then you will make a lot of money in the market right you will lose less make more so beautiful trade am all right next one we're going to discuss is amc so amc was um, um you know the plan of amc in the pre-market was simple we would trade versus the cloud so as soon as the market opened i told everyone that amc is bearish right our ema clouds are bearish ripster labels are bearish so everything was bearish so you can clearly see the difference be between a bearish trend and a bullish trend bullish trend bearish trend bullish trend bearish trend you long this chart you do not ever long this chart but anyways when it was breaking down of this pre-market level that's when i took the puts on um, six puts and uh, it faded to 470 and the puts went decently 50 almost you know um 50 percent for me i sold them all nice trade and was out when it was pushing higher so you can see there um, only shorts today and uh, i mentioned on the co voice that i have uh, six puts and we did really good on that gamey as well if i drop it down it dropped from 40 bucks and then it dropped down to 31 pre-market lows under the clouds nice nice put scalps a lot of i think a lot of traders did trade gamey more than amc and and they got some uh, nice nice mike got 94 percent on gamey and um, few others shorted the shares and got this nice one on gamey 
and AMC uh, few traders traded well you know 20% 30% more than enough so that was a nice nice two trades AMC gaming shorts in the community so next one was our earning plays our usual high probability gap fill setup so so when NXT happened I was uh, short at 48 and I averaged down and this let's go back to see what was the plan on NXT NXT was gapping up bullish bias breakout over 49.50 gap fill under 48 so I clearly told everybody in the pre-market that gap fill under 48 and then let's see what happens N NXT breaks the clouds I, I'm seeing the bearishness I told everybody right away watch the gap fill versus 50 I could have taken an entry earlier but that's fine I took a later entry and then it started to fade add a little more my average was close to 48 you can see here and then it hit 45 and then I covered on the way three dollar almost three dollar per share short for me you know um, ideally if I'm shorting here then my risk is like pre-market highs or 50 bucks so it's like you know risking one and making two and a half so that's kind of trade this was um, I completely missed the midday 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 breakdown which was done by RGV on the midday call outs on that um, uh, short um, so NXT paid twice to the community you know once in the morning and then the midday guidance by our expert trader R RGV so that was that was a really really nice nice idea um, you know earnings earning season is the best love these this is my favorite setup all right guys uh, next one we're going to look at crowd strike with market strong uh, there was a bunch of ideas you could literally long anything i told everybody on the crowd strike do um, do a one third size and if it pulls back add more right pulls back add more that was my morning guidance at 940 when we were trading at 334 and crowd strike went on to go to 344 almost 20 dollar move there nice move on the options nice nice beautiful beautiful trade on crowd strike today in the community that was really really nice crowd strike play in the community let's look at the next play that we did that was dell dell was an aa plus setup many reasons for that because it was an all-time high breakout and we had a pre-market plan on dell target raised by morgan stanley remember whenever jpm morgan stanley say something the stock moves uh, support was 136 resistance was 14040 bullish to neutral but as soon as i see it breaking out of that um, i see it breaking out of that um, you know um, this thing i confirm the long right when it held this so first candle push pull back held and long all day so here was my guidance wait on longs i don't like this candle the amateur candle i did not like it but when it reclaimed i said it confirmed the bull trend for long confirm the bull trend for long so far no resistance up top my final target was 150 i told everybody to lock on the way and by end of the day we met 150 almost 10 dollar per share profit on dell stock and crwd as you saw as was 20 dollars per share 100 percent on those lotos and option trades for the community beautiful beautiful trade that so next one we are going to discuss is mstr if you guys remember so mstr um i gave it to the community i also gave this idea to my uh, you know on my twitter followers and if i show you that on mstr what did i say right so mstr there was okay let's look at mstr so on May 13th, there was this flow. We all, you know, we, you have to flow always with the trend. 1 million, 1360 call, 1320 call. Those were trading at 18 bucks and 27 bucks. And we held it. And today, today, those MSTR went crazy. And not only that, in the pre market, when I was talking about CPI, I did tell everybody that while the samis will go the the bitcoins and the crypto can be also strong with with the um, uh, with the with semiconductors and that's what happened so you see that right time stamped my alert on twitter and then mstr was also over 50 ema so it was also bullish this was a nice setup on mstr that's why i liked mstr as well over 50 EMA gapping up CPI and all those things and you can see that MSTR I had price alerts I alerted a few days ago 
it has more room feel free to roll into further lottos and um, i told that you can add a swing as well like you know and in the end mstr went crazy 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 so these were 200 percent and 300 percent winners in the community beautiful beautiful trade swing trade and lotos still holding some lotos today was the day guys to execute everything fell in the place and you can see the time stamped guidance there well let's look at tesla today guys so tesla was our show today um if i go to by the way i missed to show you the crypto levels here were their mstr levels they were 1400 1375 fuel would give those levels so you could day trade mstr based upon those levels too anyways uh, talking about tesla guys so tesla what was our plans what was our levels let's go back it was on our game plan it has a news you can see there had a news and then we also had these levels on tesla which were 176 177 and once that broke it was bearish first thing i told everybody it's bearish do not buy it weak watch pre-market lows no longs breaks 177 we go lower good fades the first target was 173.71 and we met more than that target beautiful short in the community a lot of folks did good on tesla short and were done for the day early in the morning beautiful beautiful trade in the community with the so next one was our Boeing short. It was BA. So BA was um, morning short because it was heavy. I told as well short. Watch the pre-market lows for break to break down more. My two targets were 177.70, 176.14, and stop out if 512 curls. And then BA went on to hit the targets, and we did ha have the BA on our pre-market level sheet. You know, so it's system is clear, guys. When I saw it breaking down under the cloud, that's when I told everybody that's a short, and um, and then it was just a fade. Beautiful, beautiful uh, short on Boeing. All right, guys, I'm just gonna close with few penny stock winners today. Uh, great guidance by uh, we talked about this as yesterday as well. Um, great guidance by Tape in the community, one of our uh, senior traders. FFI was a penny stock theme, right? It's a penny stock theme. When the pennies go mo momentum, all these pennies run. They are all trash, but they have good supply and demand. So I gave yesterday, Tape gave an idea. I was swinging at 30 cents. I told everybody on the trading floor. And this morning, we, um, you know, we logged the profits on FFI in the morning. I locked uh, most of my profits and then it went on to run to 98 cents, almost 300% on FB. You see all day there was a guidance on FFFI. So these penny stocks are good too. You just need to know how to play them. And we were actually trading GWAV after hours, which also gave nice 30%. You see there was a gap fill on this penny stock. When penny stocks are hot, you know, they really move. And these are all hype stocks. And um, I have done a webinar on the low floor, so you can go watch it. But just wanted to recap these plays as well. Um, we have a dedicated low floor channel. I'm working on providing more game plans for the low floors in the community as well. So if you have low floor trader, please join. We love to have some ideas and love to trade together. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. If you want to join the community, the links are in the um, in, in the descriptions come for the ideas and education do not come for the alerts all right guys take care bye bye see you later